right, ladies and gentlemen. We're uh, we're out at the salvage yard today. We're gonna see what pick and pull has to offer for for uh, the junkyard dog back there. See the kid? He's uh, getting the toolbox ready to go and uh, getting our little milk crate for our parts. So uh, we'll bring him back when we get inside. Yep, this old Lincoln right here. I was teasing my wife. She said she wants a Lincoln. Last time I came here, I brought her. I said, there you go, honey. And it's all yours. Check this out. It's one of my damn dream cars right here. Old IROC Z28. It's too bad it's in this kind of condition. But uh, it is what it is. I guess they all got to die sometime, right? She's pretty well picked over, too. Wow. Got my, my tool guy with me. You ready to go, shop manager? All right. Let's get on our way over here. I do need to find a, a spare tire. It's not that I don't have a spare on the, on the old truck. And we got Mercedes. Volkswagen, all kinds of shit. Look at that BMW, that thing's jacked up. Look at this one. This one's in a little better shape. Take that engine and stick it in that other one. That'd be cool. But where we're going is way out there at the end. But on the way through, we're going to check out some other cars and see what they got, got to offer. Yeah. <laughs> it's free game. No, it's not free. Are you out of your mind? Nothing in life is free, son. I know, but first come, first serve. Oh, yeah, that's the truth. Where's those Jeeps at? Remember? Oh, yeah, they're over here. Now, there's a channel here on the YouTubes that I watch quite a bit. And uh, this is for you, d and &E in the garage. This is, this is sad right here. This is one of the Cherokees I love right here. The square one. Love those. But... Pretty much this entire row is Cherokee. And then there's Cherokee on the other side. You did not just drop that. Oh my goodness. But, uh, you know, look at there, some Saturn parts. Anybody's got a shitty Saturn like my wife. <laughs> but, there's uh, Saturn up there. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. But there's Cherokees, there's a Jeep Liberty right here. That thing's pretty pretty well picked over. It's like another Cherokee. And, uh, yeah, there's another Cherokee. But, yep. Deany in the garage. Here's your Cherokees, bud. If you guys don't know Deany in the garage, go check those guys out. They're, they're really cool. And, uh, they know just about everything about Jeeps. So, uh, to go check them out. Oh wow! Little no Pontiac Aztec, man. Let's see. Let's see what's what's in the old Aztec here. Just for shits and giggles. Oh shit! There's two of them. Uh oh. Yeah, she's pretty well intact for the most part. And these things had a had a tray that used to pop out this way in the in the back I don't think it's there anymore not in this one but uh, yeah let's check this out yeah. this. Well, there's actually quite a few parts left on this one hey. interior pieces anyway and pop the hood ooh, ooh, ooh. you got tools you better grab that shit what'd you get 
looks like tools at least. That ain't tools. Huh. You can throw that shit down. <laughs> if you find any tools, you better put that shit in that, that milk crate, buddy. And let's get on over to our spot over here. I'll bring you guys back when, when we get closer. All right, so now we're in the back over here by the trucks that we're going to be scavenging from. And they're all like down this row and then the row behind it. But I found this old 3500 Chevy. And uh, these vents right here, I need these for in my truck. So I took both of those on each side of the glove box. And uh, I'm working on trying to get this cup holder thing out of here. Look at this old gem. This old Buick Skylark. It's too bad. She's a fixer. <laughs> oh boy, she's a fixer. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Goodness sakes. Oh yeah. It's, it's got, got some damage, but it's definitely not anything that can't be fixed. You're no caddy. Go that way, Jim. There's a whole bunch of junk out here that this dolly keeps getting caught on. Yeah, well, that's just trash. Alright, guys, so here's what we got. These are uh, the license plate lights for the rear bumper and the clips. And I got this bed bracket right here or this uh, tailgate bracket to replace that piece of shit and I got a couple more seat belt buckles for spares uh, this is for the driver's side for the um, on the door the door panel where the, uh, the door latch is these two vents are uh, on the dashboard in front of the passenger seat and this is a spare a, a, a shit a cup holder and then <laughs> I found these in an, in an old S10 and I thought they were cool so I just grabbed them you know what the hell I mean yeah I could go out and buy some but what the hell they don't they don't look like that and that that's cool so. anyway not really a whole lot going on today you know we just wanted to come out for a little bit and uh, you know see what was out here and a lot of this stuff I probably could have waited for for the exception of these two things, this and then those two uh, light covers. But uh, the rest of that stuff, you know, I could have waited for this stuff because these are broke inside the truck, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. We do appreciate it. Go check out d and &E in the garage. They're, uh, they're awesome guys, and they have a great channel. If you have a Jeep and uh, you have questions, they're definitely the guys to go go talk to. Uh, another good Jeep guy is uh, Johnny from Jeep Things Outdoors. That dude knows a lot of stuff too. So uh, get over there and check those guys out. And uh, we'll check you another time. Thanks for watching.